In this video, you will learn how you can make a baker's recipe costing calculator. And this is very useful. If you're going to bake something, you want to calculate what is the cost of a recipe. And in this case, we're going to show you a very simplified recipe, which is the American buttercream frosting, or better known as the ABC frosting recipe, which is here below. You can see 1,000 kilo, or sorry, 1,000 grams of powdered sugar. We have 500 grams butter and 15 milliliter of vanilla extract. So this is about one, this is one kilo, half kilo and 15 ml. So how can we start to do that? So to, to show you this, let's go back here to the ingredients. You can see here we have ingredients and the values here are in Philippine peso and you can adjust them to dollars or anything you whatever is set up for you. But right now I'm just using this because this is applicable for my situation. And you can see here the brands, these are all the brands lo locally here in this country. So, what are we going to do or how can we? Basically, this is the following that I want to do. I want to select here the brand and then I want to know how much it will cost. Based on our recipe here and we have all this information here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a VLOOKUP, we're going to use a drop down, And with that, we're going to quickly calculate. So if, for example, you want to know what is the best price to get, or what's the cheapest option, you will see here eventually what will be the costing, and probably what, will, what I will do here, I will just insert one, and you see here the total price or total cost of this recipe based on the brand that we select. So that will be very interesting to do. All right, so let's start with this. So the first thing what we want to do is we want to connect all these brands here together here with a drop down so we can select any brand and then by default it should show the matching items so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this here and then I go to data and then in data I will select data validation to make the drop down list and then you can see here what is the va validation criteria in this case it's a list that's what we want the source we're going to select the source and the source will be the following here these items here all these items here will be the source Confirm by pressing enter and OK. Once we did that, you can see now we have a drop down button here and we can select our items. Let's do it exactly the same for butter. So we're going back here, select data validation, and then here list, source, click the icon here and go to the ingredients tab. And as you can see, ingredients starts to be shown here, meaning that Excel or uh, the data validation understands that the the values that we're going to select are in this tab and then we select here the butter list press enter to confirm and confirm all right so once we have that the final one and now you probably understand how to do it so i'm going to select that and we go faster through this all right click go back here and select confirm and okay all right so now we have these and that's really nice we can now continue with the next part and the next part will basically be the unit price the unit and the price of the unit which are is basically these items here we're going to get them but they will be automatically selected depending on the brand we select abc or anything else so what we're going to do here is what we call a vlookup so i say here vlookup open parentheses and then let's select here select the VLOOKUP value which is this value here that's why we want to search and match then we go to the table we select this table here because that's our table array there we can find the matching value which is always on the left side and then we have the column index number so we type in comma column index number and what happened here is where can we find the matching value well we're going to find it here but this is the first column second column third column and what we're searching for is the unit so in this case we say column number two comma false and why false 90 percent of the time you'll be searching for false because you want an exact match of the, of the name confirm enter so now we have the unit all right now let's do exactly the same for the price and the price is basically the same except that here will be the column index number three but i'm going to show you just for for repetition's sake so you will understand it better Select or type in VLOOKUP, select the lookup value, which is this, then comma, table array, 
Then we go back here to ingredients, select this, comma. Then we say number three, and then comma, false, enter. There you are. So now we get the price. All right, let's do exactly the same here, but then for butter. So now we need to go to the butter table. So we say VLOOKUP, open parentheses, select the value, that's the value we want. Go back to ingredients, select all the butter options, comma, and then here we can say table column second one because it's the unit we need. False. All right. So once we have this, we can basically copy this function here or this formula here. We will paste it in here, but we will adjust the column index number to number three. All right. Once we got that, we're almost done. Finally, here we have the following option. And that is this. We will say here VLOOKUP. And the VLOOKUP value, let's go back here. Oh, sorry, before we do that, we can go here. And you can see, even if you would click the tab, you will see the VLOOKUP will understand which tab it is. And if it's like this, the baking is costing, costing tab, that is fine because it's the same tab. There's no problem in that. All right. So once we got that, comma, select this. Select the vanilla extract, comma, then number two for the second value. And then we say false. Enter. Same here. We're going to copy this, paste it in here, and then we say number three. All right. So once we have that, what we can do next is basically get this recipe, and I will put it in here. So we say equal this, enter, and then we just drag these down here. All right. Same here, equal this, and then drag this square here, and there you are. So it copies everything. All right. So now we have it. Now what we need to figure out is how many packs do we need. So if the unit, for example, DEC brand has uh, their powdered sugar contains 1,500 kilograms. Oh, sorry, not 1,000. That's that's uh, grams. So 1.5 kilo kilograms, right? But we only need one kilo. So what we're going to do here is basically divide that. So we say here, this is the unit, and we divide the unit by this. Oh, this is we do exactly the opposite. We have we need this divided by the amount of units of the package there you are so now you can see this is a financial i don't want to have financial i want to select this and then i want to put in just the comma here all right so now it is just normal because this is the percentage basically we need we need two-thirds of the pack so that we, that means if you need two-thirds of the pack you only need two-thirds of this which is 100 pesos all right so but we have this now let's copy this and you can see here the unit has 250 grams, but we need 500 grams. So we need two packages of this butter. All right, so once we have this, we basically do this. We can multiply now the price by package. There we are. You can see now what's the cost. All right, so you can see the cost here and let's give this a financial, there we are. And then we select here the Sigma button, or you can type in equal sum, open parentheses select all of the values here and enter so you can see the cost to make this with magnolia gold brand and the wilton uh, uh vanilla extract the liquid vanilla extract will cost you this but maybe you say well okay let's get the white rose right rose is a bit cheaper brand you can see here now instantly the price goes down and now we can start to explore more so let's say we want to have mccormick here you can see here the price maintains very similar probably and the reason why is that these two are basically identical but the unit is the, the higher quantity in unit which means double price so let's do this again let's select another brand that is slightly different magnolia you can see here the price goes to 200 and here we will say uh president the most expensive butter brand which is uh 250 per piece and we need two of these, it's 500 pesos, so this, this would be the price. And maybe you say, well, this is quite high, what if I would adjust the recipe? So you can adjust it here. So for example, maybe you need smaller quantities, you say, well, I need the, only this, and I need 250 only, because I'm going to make a small portion, and I need the 7.5, and as I do this 7.5, let, let's put this here, let's give this a little bit more, more uh, value, so we can see a bit more, all right, so that makes more sense. So now you can see here we have this and this looks exactly the same. And this is the way how you can use VLOOKUP combined with a drop down list 
create a baker's recipe costing because now if you have all these different brands res uh, registered you can quickly calculate how much it will cost and this is extremely useful if you are a cake baker and you want to know what is your costing so if you like these kind of videos and tips of tricks more subscribe to my channel you will learn a lot more about excel and if you have any questions put them in the comment section below